Hello, everyone. Sorry I couldn't be at the meeting today. I have a tennis match I am currently coaching in. And so, asked Julie if it'd be okay if I sent in a screencastify with an update on the project, and she was completely cool with it. Um, so, Chrissy Atkins and I both discussed our projects, I think, at the last meeting, and we had something very similar. And so, what we were doing uh, in my classes, and I'd worked with Megan Sampson uh, in our English One classes, and what we were trying to figure out was what the best way to communicate with students was. Uh, and, and really what this stemmed out of was we kept discussing about how kids have the access to all the technology in the world, but they are some of the least informed uh, students. It, it's incredible. And it was just something as we were trying to figure out what we were going to do the project on, uh, it was something where we had identified a, a need area. Um, I'll keep this pretty short and sweet just because I do have a video at the end. Uh, so I'll fly through these slides and I'll send all the information to, to Julie and Missy so they can use it and upload it um, as they see fit. Um, we were just identifying an issue within the school and it was all about communication. Uh, and then the kids had to des design and plan an action plan to fix it. Uh, here were the standards that we utilized in the project. Um, as far as the individual projects, the kids needed to come up with action plans and different ways to prepare to address the issues of helping our school being able to communicate better with them. Um, ultimately, the the big project at the end was a Shark Tank proposal that the hit kids had to come up with. Um, I'll tie it into the standards or like the, the lessons that we used here in just a second. And so looking at the project prelims, like what were issues that were involving the students and where this stemmed out of was um, we had lost the Crosstown Food Out, which is a basketball game against Brossard, but it's also a canned food drive. And I mean, we're so much bigger school than Brossard. And it's not like, uh, I mean, if our kids, if each one of our kids, I think would have brought like four or five cans, it would have been, we would have done just an incredible, incredible job. But when I talked about it with my students, they had no clue what the Crosstown Food Out was. Half of them barely knew that we had a basketball game. And so there was an obvious disconnect. And so I uh, wanted to be able to kind of relate that to what they're going through. Um, and, you know, when I would ask them questions, they say, yeah, we use Schoology. We listen to the announcements. But then when I would ask them about Schoology and the announcements, they didn't retain any of the information. So obviously I kept reiterating that there were things that were broken in the system and I wanted them to fix it so that we could more actively communicate with them. Um, I broke down the milestones as far as what the kids were expected to do. Uh, they did have a survey, kind of a, a an just uh, something I did on Google form to talk about the different ways that they communicate. And then the guiding question that we utilized was how can the school better communicate with the students? Uh, we went in and we discussed the project, uh, just kind of going over these questions, uh, again, reiterating over and over and over again, this is what we are doing within the project. All right. Like how can we better communicate with you? Um, we did pick a day, take a day and I gave the kids a floor plan layout of the school and, you know, I, I didn't pick some of the, the newer areas like the ATC or back by the, the small gym in the high school. We just mainly focused on the main arteries. And I had the kids walk around and they had to focus on four areas, high traffic, uh, areas with technology, uh, bulletin boards and white space. And so what I was trying to get them to understand was we have all this space and all these areas that are being underutilized. How can you use them? Because uh, my whole thing was I didn't want this to be a project where I gave them a budget. I wanted them to work within uh, really the confines of, of what they're used to in everyday life. And, you know, budgets mean committees. It means decision making. It means having to go to talk to a lot of people. I didn't want to do that um, because and I didn't want to turn it into a fundraising expedition. It was more along the lines of how can we utilize what we have in order to fix what's not working? Because we have plenty at our disposal. Um, I tied it into springboard unit three, which is all about persuasion. Uh, we switched this out with one of the embedded assessments because uh, the embedded assessment was about um, is college worth it or not? And so essentially it was a persuasive writing. And so we made this the persuasive project where they had to use the elements of persuasion and, and rhetorical appeal. We kept reiterating, you know, ethos, pathos and logos, counter argument, counter claims uh, that making sure they had that in their Shark Tank proposal. Um, we used, we were able to get through this in a very fast amount of time. Um, I kind of did what Amanda Clark did with us when we did our training. I squeezed the kids and, and did not give them a ton of time, mainly because if I give them five days, they're going to waste 
three and a half of them. So, um, you know, I wanted to really put the pressure on them. Had three people come in to listen to as they were the quote unquote sharks and they listened to the proposals. They asked questions. My kids did a really good job being prepared, creating a cool visual, engaging. It was a lot of fun. I think this can be something that's timely and done over and over, uh, and and I really enjoy doing it. So I do have a YouTube link here that you can watch uh, one of the groups that went. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm here to help. Hope everybody's well, and have a good one.